in today's tutorial i am going to show you how to make four step vertical infographic slide design in powerpoint as you can see here i have created the four step along with the 3d uh, object you can see here this is the point number one along with the icon and on the right side of the slide you can see the icon with the title and the detailed text then this is the point number two with a different icon point number three and point number four and the details are available to the right side of the slide and apart from this i have made one more this is the four option and this is the three options so depending on your requirement you can make it four or three so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle on the left side of the slide maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some light color and i'm going to add one more by pressing ctrl d to duplicate this and you can give some different color of your choice you can see and just place next to this one and increase the size according to your requirement now once this is done i'm going to add one more rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here and make sure that this is somewhat bigger than this i'm going to put it here for example and shape outline make it no outline and let me just zoom in and here i'm going to insert two more right triangles you can see here this is the right triangle draw the right triangle here shape outline make it no outline and give some different color so that we know how much the area we are going to keep it so from here i'm just going to delete this much part you can see here make sure it is properly aligned and press ctrl d add to the right side also here and then go to rotate i'm just going to say flip horizontal and then you can just say flip vertical so uh, this part only the blue part only i'm going to keep it and the rest this light blue color i'm going to remove it to remove this one first of all i'm going to select this one the blue rectangle the hold the shift key select the right triangle you can see here then go to the format tab merge shape and just say subtract so you can see here this has been removed and again hold the shift key and select the right triangle and again merge shape and just say subtract so you end up getting this shape here now you can give some different colors some gradient fill but later on i'm going to do that and i'm going to add one more at the top for this let me just press ctrl d to duplicate this i'm going to reduce the size you can see here put it here and then go and rotate i can just say flip horizontal you can see here and exactly put like this and let me just give some dark color so that you can identify this so uh, like this you can do it and one more thing go to insert shapes select the rectangle uh, again just draw the rectangle here and i'm going to give more darker color here shape outline make it no outline and then send this to back so it, it looks something like this shape let me just zoom out so it looks something like this now we can give a gradient color to this to give a gradient color let me just select this right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select the gradient fill here uh, the last time i have used that's the reason it is coming here first of all i'm going to select this part and then eye color i'm going to select this color you can see it is blending with the color of the background then i'm going to add one more i'm going to select the same color but i'm going to more colors and increasing the darkness here or you can go and select some darker colors from here also it looks something darker like this i'm going to add one more stop where i'm going to select the same color more colors i'm going to just reduce the shade something like this you can see here and here i'm going to select the same color but again further reducing the shade so it looks something like this and here also i'm going to select the gradient fill instead of four i'm going to keep only two and here one is the darker color i'm going to select you can see here the darker color and the other side i can select the lighter color here so it looks something like this and this one also i'm going to make it more darker color here i can select this color and more colors 
go to the custom and you can increase more darker shade here so you end up getting something like this you can see here now i'm going to give a shadow effect to give the shadow effect go to insert shapes i can go and give the select the triangle draw the triangle and rotate i'm just going to rotate left 90 degrees shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select black and give some transparency effect here then go to effects shadows not the shadows sorry go to the soft edges and increase the size here so you can see here it end up something like this and if you want you can give more transparency transparency effect increase the size you can see here something like this and then send this to back so you can see here it end up looking like this now it is very easy for me let me just select this all not this uh, rectangle the gray one press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it and just add next to this one and then i'm going to select this give some different color you can see here maybe i can give a uh, kind of a pink you can see here and then again i'll come here again give the same pink and going to give more darker colors here select the pink and you can give some darker pink here you can see here and then you can just uh, it's kind of a purple not a pink sorry and go to more colors before that let me just select the same color here purple and then I'm going to give somewhat less shade and here also the same color and then I'm going to give more lighter shade so before that let me just ungroup this you can see here let me just ungroup this and then i'm going to select only this part along with the shadow make sure that to select the shadow also or if it is missed out you can hold the shift key and select the shadow and then just drag it down you can see here you can drag something like this and here also you can give two darker colors here one is the darker color and one is the lighter color and this also you can give the same darker color here so like this you can make it three four five uh, and before that let me just select this and give some shadow effect shadow right this also I'm going to select and select the shadow right and make sure that this is grouped again along with the shadow press ctrl G to group and ctrl D to duplicate it likewise you can just change the color again depending on your choice maybe i can select a green color or i can select a blue color also let me just select go and select this blue color then again based on that color i'm going to select the blue color here here i'm going to select the more darker blue you can see here and again i'm going to select the same blue but i'm going to reduce the you can see here the shade and here more lighter shade and here also i'm going to give the darker color and the lighter color and then this one select more blue color dark blue color you can see here and then again let me just select this first of all i have to ungroup it let me just select this along with the shadow effect and drag this down so this is the three options if you want you can add four or five options depending on your requirement so make sure that this is also uh, group it properly i'm just going to select all this including the shadow and press ctrl g to group it and then you can add the icons here to add the icons go to insert click on the icons and remember this particular feature is available only in the latest version of powerpoint and if you want to download i have given one video uh, a month around so you can go and download the icons from there so let me just select these icons which is the 2019 and office 365 version it is available so i'm just going to select uh, any four different or just three only uh, just click on insert you can see here i'm going to put it one by one here for example one i'm going to put it here one here and one i'm going to put it here and i'm going to change the graphic field to white 
and if you want you can just change the size to 0.8 inches you can see here and if you want select all these three by holding the shift key you can give the shadow effect and i'm going to select the perspective this one now once this is done let me just select this press ctrl d to duplicate it i'll bring it here and change the color to black and then i'm going to select each based on the color of the background i'm going to change this you can see here this one uh, using the eyedropper i'm selecting these colors okay and then i'm just going to put it something like this you can see here and then you can just add the detail text here equals lorem within bracket one you can see here you can add some detail text like this and give some gray color press ctrl d to duplicate add it here again ctrl d add one more here so this is the end of the slide i'm going to select all the text and bring it down and then you can add your heading here you can see here make it bold increase the size and if you want you can just give some underline also if you want you can just give the number one two three also here so you can see here this is a simple way you can do this four step vertical slide design that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.